Welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a, is a recipe called Jello Stained Glass Dessert. This recipe today is a viewer's request and I thank you for asking for that. There's many versions of this uh, recipe. They're called stained glass bars, stained glass squares, but this one today I'm calling it Jello Stained Glass Dessert because we love Jello here in Newfoundland and Labrador. So I'll show you the, the ingredients as we go. So let's get started. I'm going to be using three boxes of Jello here today, but you could use as many as you want, and I'll explain that to you as we go. We're going to need some condensed milk, some gelatine, and uh, I'll show you how to prepare that. Water, we're going to need containers to put our Jello in, and what we'll do first is start making one of the Jellos, and I'll show you that. So what I'm going to do now, I got a lime jello. I'm going to pour that in. Boil your kettle. Have it nice and hot. We're going to be using one cup of water to each one of the jellos. I'm not going to explain the gelatine yet. I'm going to do that one last because I don't want you to get all confused and say what did she say. So we're going to do the lime jello first. One cup of hot water. Stir it until about two minutes until all of that jello is totally condensed and mixed in. So you're just going to pour that hot water on into your package of jello in a bowl of course and stir it like you said for about two minutes making sure that all of that jello is broken down and mixed in thoroughly. That's all you need to do there. So after you've done that you're going to need three of containers. I'm going to say plastic containers, but storage containers is probably a better name for it. You could use spray pan or you can just put a little tiny drizzle of oil like this and spread it out into the container because this is going to help the jello from not totally sticking to the container and be difficult to come out and I'll explain that to you as we go because you'll see what I mean by that. When you got that oil spread all the ways around, then we're going to pour the jello into that container. Just pour it on in. And a narrow container, and the reasons for that is the smaller the container is, the thicker your jello is going to be. And that'll be more of a, a look to that stained glass. But if you got a container that's about this size, just a storage container, that's enough. Now I'm going to put this one into the fridge. We'll start on the next one. All I'm going to do now is just put a lid on that. You don't necessarily need a lid, but when I put it into the fridge, I'm going to stack these containers and just, just for run. Um, and then I'm going to rinse out this bowl. Instead of using three different bowls, jello is jello no matter what color it is, but I'll just rinse this out, rinse my, uh, stir, my stir spoon, and then we'll get making the next one. So the same thing goes for all of the packages. So if you're gonna, if you only want to use two, you're gonna make a smaller Jello stained glass dessert, or if you want to make three, or you can even make four. Doesn't matter. And the reasons for that is you're cutting it up in cubes. The more colors you got, the the better it is, of course, for the look wise. But if you don't and you just want it for a special occasion, just pick the colors that you want. So again, hot water, one cup into one pack of Jello. Stir for two minutes. Make sure it's totally all condensed and all of those little, uh, little shiny pieces around the side is gone. And then we'll do the same. Put it into a storage container with a little bit of Pam or oil on it to keep it from sticking. Put the lid on, lodge it in the fridge. So that's all you need to do there and then pour it into your storage container again that's oiled or greased with a little bit of grease. It doesn't matter what type. I'm going to seal this one off, finish and making that one and then I'll tell you what's next. So now after you've made all three jellos, pretty much all we're doing here now is a waiting game. 
when you put it into the fridge, you're going to put it there for at least two hours or till fully set. And after it's fully set, I'll take it out and I'll show you how you would cut and get it ready to do it for the next step. And then I'll show you then how to make your gelatine with the condensed milk. Now we're at the next stage of making this delicious jello stained glass dessert. So I got my three jellos here, the, the lime, red and the blue. I'm going to cut it now in cubes and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do first is oil up our 9 by 13 inch storage container and of course put the little bit of oil around. That's all you need to do there. And then you're going to take a knife, a sharp knife, you're going to cut down in the jello like this and we're going to make little small cubes. So you keep going like that until it's all cubed and we're going to do it with all three. Now if you're making four or if you want to make five or just two, just keep doing the same. Take a flat spatula and take your cubes and toss out into your 9 by 13 inch container and just toss them around there. I'm going to do the same again now with the red and then the blue and I'll show you what that looks like. So then you're going to take the red jello after you cubed it and toss that in through. Now this is a simple way of doing this dessert but it could get complicated if your jello don't set and if your gelatine don't set that's where all of the the bothersome moments come in because you don't want for that to happen now again we'll take in consideration that some of them is going to stick together that's fine if you got a piece of the art uh, that's not set good take that off just put that there like that now all I'm going to do now is show you how to make the gelatine to go over this okay so I just want to rinse over my hands there so pretty much that's all you need to do when it comes to uh, working the the little jello squares. So the next step we're going to be making the gelatine and what it is is just one package of the gelatine and we're going to be putting it into a quarter of a cup of cold water first just to get it to start to form and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So a quarter of a cup of cold water and then sprinkle one package of the gelatine into it like that. Just mix it around a little, just give it a little swirl and leave that there for one minute until it starts to form into like little jelly, just jelly. So this is what your gelatine is going to look like after it's started to form. It's just little jelly looking. And then you're going to have a half a cup of hot water and you're going to mix in there like this just until you get it all combined like that. Now there's 300 mils of condensed milk in a little container. We're going to use 150 mils of it. I made one in advance to show you what this looks like. So what you're going to do is pour this out. It's really thick so you've got to pour it out slowly until it's all combined into your bowl. And that's 150 mils. After you got it all poured out, and mixed in well. Keep mixing it for about a minute, just keeping it going. And then the rest of the condensed milk that's into the container, take it out with a flat spatula just to get it all. And it's like you said, it's 300 mils into this can. We only want 150 of it. So then after you've mixed all of that in there, you're going to put this in the fridge for about 
save up two to three minutes. No longer than that because it sets really quick. I just want for the the hot liquid that we put on there to cool down a little bit to about room temperature. So not too long because you don't want it for it to get solid. And solid meaning the same as those little jello uh, squares we got there. We don't need that because we're gonna pour this over. So I'm just gonna reach for the one I got into my fridge and then we'll get continuing on with that. So then after, like I said, don't leave it in there for very long, just long enough now just to take that little bit of a chill, a little bit of the, the chill onto the bowl so that the liquid is not hot. So you're going to stir this around, you're going to bring your spatula back and forth like this because you want to get that gelatin in between all of those pieces of jello and have a mixed up that you got red or green and blue all mixed together. Now I'm going to cover that and put that one in the fridge. So of course just a little recap there on that gelatin. When you mix it up uh, the hot water you put in there um, is, is really hot. When you put in that solid which is your conden condensed milk that'll cool it down a little bit and just about a minute that's all a minute or less in the fridge just to give that little snap call put it into your jar because this sets really quick and I don't want for you to put it in the fridge and forget about it and then you've got a solid substance in there so right now I'm gonna put our made one in the fridge and take out the one that I just made previously and this could take anywhere probably for about an hour or so to go really solid in your all the jello to get it cut it but my recommendation would be if you're going to make this dessert make it the night before and that way you're guaranteed that everything in it is sealed and nice so let me reach for the other one now and I'll show you what that looks like okay so now what I'm going to do is show you the one we got made now this is what it looks like when it's all set and you should see there's no jiggle to it at all just you see uh, the tops of the jello jiggling. You can cut it whatever way you want. I got small ones over here. I'm going to make this one a little bigger here because I want to show you on that plate because maybe you want to make this into just servings that you can share with your family. Pull. Pull up one ear now. Just let me get my trusty little spatula ear and under it. And just look here. See how it just looks like a uh, stained glass with all those colors in there. So I'm going to put that one ear now on this plate. Now just look how lovely this looks. And I mean, if you had guests, and you serve them these little jello, well, I'm calling it jello squares, but the jello stained glass dessert. Absolutely delicious. Now, can you just see yourself making this now for a fancy get together with your family and friends, or you just want to bring some of these stained glass desserts of course jello stained glass desserts to work for potluck your your co-workers would love them so that's it that's the simple steps that i showed you here today on how to make it i'm certainly going to share the recipe at the bottom of this link you will uh, you will hit the link see more and it'll open it up for you and as well down there is the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed, I urge you to do so. You will see this recipe and of course many more of our recipes we post to YouTube, to our website and as well to Facebook. And to, to uh, send us a message, you can send it to www.bonitaskitchen.com. You can as well send a message on Facebook or just comment on the video there on YouTube. We would love to hear from you. And as well, we'd like to thank the viewer that requested this recipe today. I hope 
now you are eager to make it and you're not scared to make it because it is a very nice dessert. And if you like for your family and friends to get access to this video today, share it on your Facebook page and, and let them comment on it, send me a message and I would love to hear from them as well. So I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us today and I hope you're just as excited as what I was to make these. I'm going to enjoy one now when we're finished. So from our kitchen to yours, thank you for joining us and you have a wonderful day. Join us by the sea, a journey in culinary, always an open door, Benita's Kitchen to yours. Kitchen, 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 to yours. Yeah.